all right welcome back guys um we're going to look at the next component so let me check my toolkit and so after text we have the image component okay so i'm going to click on the image component and this is the example we have so basically what i'm going to do is there is a place where we are supposed to save our images okay and let me just show you that before we get started okay so i'm going to go to my desktop and i'll try and locate my ionic folder so let me just do that from scratch so i'll open my file explorer oh and let me drag that in and then i'll remember we have our ionic folder inside of our c drive okay so let me locate ionic so this is it and then i'll open it up and then we have the name of the app so we are working with my first app that's the app i created yours might be different okay now inside of my first app what we need is to look you remember the source folder is where we we have most of the things we are working with so src i'm going to open the source folder and you see we have app and assets of course we have environment and themes but the most important thing is apps and assets where you save your images is inside the asset folder so an image is considered an asset so if i open this asset folder you see here that we have like this icon folder and shapes so if i wanted to add an image to my app it will be inside of this assets folder so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um, grab an image somewhere okay so let me just quickly do that all right now i was able to copy if, um, a file okay so i'm going to right click and paste it in here okay so it's a simple image of a girl now but instead of so supposing i wanted to work with like let's say 20 images it would be actually very cumbersome to have 20 images just you know scattered all over the place inside my assets folder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and create another folder inside this assets folder and name it images so i'll right click and i'll say new and folder and then i'll say images and that's where i'm going to have all of my images so i'll just come here and i'll move this girl image inside of the images folder and let me just open the images folder okay so this is the image here so the thing we get to note is that we have an assets folder inside the assets folder we have an images folder and then we then have the image now of course you should also know that images have um formats okay they can either be very commonly be jpeg format or png format okay so let me just right click and show you something so i'll go to right click and click on properties okay so you see here we have dot jpg okay so that's the format for this image so i'm just going to and i'm just going to go back to the app folder here and then i'll minimize this so let's bring back up our um our workspace okay and then i'm going to open up the browser is this oh yeah that's what we're working on okay so where's my browser all right so this is our toolkit and as you can see we have this image um toolkit here so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the um code here right and then of course the instructions are here that's what i just actually went through so it says locate your assets folder and then it says create an images folder within the asset folder then place your image within that new images folder you just created so it's just the instructions here that i wrote out so go ahead and copy this and let's minimize this okay so what i'm going to do is instead of like deleting this i'm just going to add the image below my paragraph okay so i don't want to delete it so i'm just going to paste that in now if you notice here we have profile.jpg but remember within our folder here oh I, so let me just quickly go back oh i think i can just do this twice okay so the image we have here is named girl so we're going to have to change that here so instead of saying profile.jpg i'm just going to delete the profile and i'm going to say girl and then i'll save 
So let's give this a few seconds to load and see what happens. Okay, voila. So do you see? So now we have our text and then we have the image of a girl. Okay, so that's the how easy it is for you to add an image to your Ionic app. All right, thank you so much and see you in the next video.